Hi, I'm Todd Hughes. I'm the coding specialist at the Charles McMurray Company. And today I'd like to show you a exciting product from ML Campbell called Woodsong 2 WB3. What WB3 is, is it's a waterborne spray only stain. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, water base, waterborne. I don't want to mess with it. This is a product you may want to look at despite what type of clear coat you're applying, whether you're using all solvent or all water, doesn't matter. This product is a product you're gonna to wanna to see. So when staining and lacquering your cabinets, you have a lot of products available to you. You have wiping stains, you have spray and wipe stains, you have gel stains, uh, dyes and toners that can be used to achieve specific looks. Uh, one of the products that many shops use is uh, solvent-based spray-only stains. And typically those type of stains are more of a challenge to apply uh, unless you're a large production shop with a flat line where you can have equipment that's very consistent and precise or maybe you have a very talented individual in your finished department who can apply stains very consistently it's a challenge uh, here's an example of a spray only stain uh, solvent base on beach and when applying it if you're not uh, applying it evenly you can have uh, lapping issues you can have light and dark spots um, and, and unless uh, you're applying it very consistently, you can have uh, inconsistent color from, from door to door and panel to panel. Um, sometimes applying the stains uh, can be one of those issues where you've got to work up to the color, maybe making three, four, eight passes, uh, working up to get the color to be the same uh, from panel to panel. Uh, with Woodsong 2 WB3, that's not the case. Even though it's a spray only stain and it's water based, um, I think you'll be impressed by what you see. So let me show you a few examples of the WB3 spray-only water-based stain from ML Campbell. Here are three doors done with the WB3. I have an alder, kind of a, a rustic alder door uh, done. And you can see uh, the product, hold that up close there. You can see the grain and the consistency in, in color. Here's another alder door applied again. You can see the grain and the warmth of the color. And here's a cherry door, also done with the WB3. Again, very consistent in color, and you can see the grain throughout. So you say, well, I only use solvent-based products. Well, that's okay. Whether you're using solvent or waterborne top coats, it doesn't matter. This particular door is done with a pre-cat lacquer, this one with a conversion varnish, and this is done with a waterborne top coat. So regardless of what type of top coat you're using, the WB3 will work for you. So let me show you an example of how easy it is to apply. I have with me here a uh, shaker style cherry door. I'm going to apply the WB3 and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to apply. So give me a moment here and uh, take a look. So in one pass, I've completely stained my door. Unlike a solvent spray only stain where you're making two, three, six passes to get the color, I've hit this in one pass. Now you can see the door is still somewhat wet. In fact, here, look at that. I've got some uh, stain there sitting. If you perhaps put on a little too much, don't worry. You get a few runs down the edges, just take a little rag. As long as you do it while it's wet, slightly wipe the product. It's okay. Um, the idea is to put it on in a consistent manner that the door gets wet and leave it alone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this door sit for a few minutes and come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. So I sprayed the door and it's been sitting about 15 minutes. Here is the door now completely dry. Um, it's about 78 degrees right now, so it dried rather quick and again, uh, all ready to apply a clear coat. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray 
some pre-cat lacquer over it, some of our Magnamax on here, and that way you can see how the product looks when completely done. So let's do that. So I've got my seal coat on, and you can see now the, the color come back to life. You can see all the grain. Um, it's got a consistent color throughout the panel. And if you remember, I took my rag and kind of hit a few areas that were heavy. I ran my finger through it. And again, uh, nothing there in the panel that you can see any evidence of that. Uh, it looks like a wiping stain. So whenever you consider doing your cabinets, consider using spray only stain. It's about as easy as it gets. If you'd like more information about it, please give me a call, Todd Hughes at the Charles McMurray Company. Or if you'd like to see the product demonstrated, let me know and I'd be glad to come into your shop and uh, provide a demo and show you how easy it is to apply the Woodsong 2 WB3. Thanks.